Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Virtual Farmer Ken Bob here at uh, American Truck Simulator. Right now, we're taking a look. Uh, just got off the live, so we're uh, coming into our first load after the live was done. And I'm going to take a quick look around. I don't have enough money to upgrade my garage. So I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. But uh, let's see, go in here to the driver manager. See how all of our guys are doing. Well, it looks like we're starting to get up there. I hired uh, Paul long before I hired Naomi. I only had one driver for the longest time. I just got done upgrading both of our trailers to reefers, but his truck is the only one so far I've been able to afford to upgrade to a uh, sleeper cab. Naomi's is still a day cab, but, and it's crazy, she doesn't have a uh, sleeper, she's in a day cab, but yet she's, uh, and she's got a reefer but she's much more profitable than uh, Paul is. And she's not even got all of the experience levels, training uh, policy levels. But right now it doesn't look like she's hooked to a trailer either. So I'm not sure what's going on there. She was assigned that uh, one reefer because everything I have now is a reefer. This one apparently is on its own. It's not being driven. And then this one, the one Paul has, and I'm driving the custom reefer. So, I don't know. I mean, uh, I guess it is what it is, and hopefully at some point, it's weird that the reefer Paul has is only 39% utilization, but the one that's just sitting is 76%. So I'm not sure what all these um, analytics really mean. I'm still kind of learning this, but at any rate, we'll go in here to the job market. I usually like to use either the cargo market or the external market, depending on um, what's going on, because they seem to pay better. Like right here, this uh, cargo market, I think it pays better than some of the external cargo market jobs do. This one, of course, is all the way from Sierra Vista going to Sacramento. But it says Stockton to Sierra Vista. Oh, it's in Stockton going from there down to Sierra Vista. But we're in Camp Verde. So I'm not sure... We got three hours and 17 minutes. I don't know if I want to deadhead that far. I mean, it's 60000 once it pays, but let's see if we can find anything that pays good here in Camp Verde. Let's see, how's that spelled? C A M P E? No, just C A M P. Well, there we go. Camp Verde. Oh, look at that. That one is going to Sacramento. That pays almost 50000 I think we'll go ahead and uh, hook up with that one here. It's going to be a little bit of a drive, but hey, we're up for it. That's what we get paid for. Pardon me while I get uh, set up to drive here. Drive safe. Uh, we'll do my best. I just hope everybody else does too. All right, so we'll go into cab. Oop, I guess it was already running. And then get our headlights on, do our walk around. Okay, we got all of our lights in the back, and that drop axle is once again down. I don't know why they have an option for you to raise it if it never stays raised. I don't really like using it because it seems to, I mean in real life, I don't know about on the game if it affects the turning radius or not, but you would think that uh, having that down would shorten your turning radius, 
And if nothing else, it tears the tires up. We do a real sharp turn. And I've even heard of some flatbed trucks that are completely loaded, having a, uh, a rear axle uh, get broke off, either rear or front, I'm not sure, but having that drop axle get ripped off because uh, they turn too sharp. Alright, uh, looks like we're needing to turn right, and that's not going to happen. No, turn so right. Let's see. And this right here is kind of one of those things I was talking about where if we didn't have that drop axle raise, that could have been a real difficult turn right there. Alright, let's get back in the cab. Go straight. Pardon me. It's one of the only things about the, doing the recordings this way is I don't really have a way to mute some of those uh, noises uh, right. that I don't ex can't edit out like I can on my bar farming simulator game. I'll have to figure that out. I'm still Get learning. Ready to turn. It's all over now. It's only just beginning. And let's see, let's go into an external view. Okay, let's get the job off of here. Now, why didn't you know what's going on? It says Joy Button 7 down there. But I wish I could show you my deal. But it's actually number 7 is the decoupling. I've always got to remember that the thing is backwards. Number 8 is my uh, job offer. So we'll go in here. And we're on Cargo Market. We're doing fireworks to Sacramento, and let's take the job. And we're going into the very last door. There is a little bit more room here than some places. Cause I've been to some places uh, in this game where you do not have this kind of a corner. <laughs> you just have no room whatsoever to maneuver. If I was going to do this more realistically, I'd stay in the truck and get out to look only whenever I need to. So maybe we ought to try that. Let's see what we can do here. It's kind of difficult to get your perceptions of where your front of your truck is in this. Good thing I stopped when I did. <laughs> Alright, which one is the rear camera? If that's the rear camera, that's a little too far away to really get any use out of it. That's about the only way right there you can really see behind you and it's not adjustable. So, there you go.
Okay. Now one thing you can do in here, and I'm trying not to, but there is a way to set up two spe um, mirrors. inside the cab I'll just show you kind of what I'm talking about but you can set up two mirrors just like that right there that give you your outside view but I don't know how that would be driving like that all the time and how many people would care for that so that's why I do it this way let's right. go and we're loaded almost there we go Turn our electricity back on. Engine. We'll do our walk around. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to let me look at that because we're too close to the building. I have so far not really cared for the camera angle of the uh, options that's in here I think they should have let you have a little bit more free roam camera angles than what they give you so all right here we go enough talk let's get rolling Because when you're making real sharp turns, it's easier to see the rear of your trailer without having to lose your front view. right there I can see that I came around that corner with the rear of the trailer it did pretty good at least in my way of looking at it looks like we got fuel and I don't need any sleep just yet probably go ahead and pull in here though and get some fuel while we're right here I'd rather do that than take a chance that we're not going to see a fuel stop for a while. Not really that low on fuel, but why well, take a chance? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, yeah, we weren't that low at all. 81 gallons, and these are 300 gallon tanks, so better do our pre trip. Okay. Looks like we're good. Jump back in the cab. I'm doing a live recording right now. I'm not a live recording, but I'm doing a recording right now. But whenever I start doing this more often, I'm thinking I'm going to probably do more so lives with this particular uh, series. It just seems like it's more interesting whenever it's live instead of being recorded and played back. I tried doing my first live and that was, uh, oh, I don't know, about a couple hours ago. 
and then decided, well, I'll go ahead and record the next video just to kind of see how it goes. But, uh, I don't know. Talk with my wife, and I think we might try to make it a kind of a family affair, you know, let everybody get in on it. We got six kids, so it would kind of be fun for them. And me. I'm not going to lie, I had a lot of fun with that. There seems to be a different element to it whenever you're doing it live than Get whenever ready, you're just right. pre-recording it and spitting it out. Well, folks, that's about as far as we're going to make it today. But please come back and join me again as we continue our trip and our journey uh, with VFK Freight and trying to build our company. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe out there.